Hi guys, Terry here. Today I want to talk to you about cardstock. Um, this is going to be in my series of A to Z organization for your craft room. And um, I know that we all have a large, lot of cardstock, right? We um, have it in all different sizes. I've got my 12 by 12 paper here. Um, I've got an assortment of colors. Um, I've got neutrals in one. I've got um, a rainbow of colors. And then I also have a travel pack. And for as little as I use this, really this travel pack is enough. Uh, this is a combination of colors that I've uh, collected over the years. I buy packs of them. The packs usually come in a pack of 25. Um, I've gotten them from close to my heart. Um, I love Stampin' Ups uh, 12 by 12 paper. Um, so I love using these. I think they're called Cropper Hoppers. There's a variety of companies that make them. But I do love these um, plastic bins. These hold a lot. Um, so I like storing it vertically. Um, I should be careful. It's by a window. Um, so I don't want the sunlight to fade it. So I do need to be careful about that. Um, I had it lower on this shelf, but it's nice to have it up here so that I can pull it out and get to it easily. But I would just caution you not to buy too much of it. Um, I've been scrapbooking probably since about 2006. And um, this has been uh, plenty of paper. You always think you need gobs more. <laughs> and my advice would be that, you know, when you run out of red, go buy some more red. Don't, uh, don't stock up for the uh, scrapbooking apocalypse. Um, I've got 12 by 12. I have a lot of um, 6x6 pads for printed paper. Um, I used to buy the great big packs of, um, we've all seen these pads that are for sale and half price at Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Um, I've gotten rid of a lot of those um, size pads. Um, Again, you're, you're not going to use this much paper, so um, I would say don't get enamored with um, buying these great big packs. Um, I typically use solid colors and then sprinkle in a little bit of um, pattern paper. So um, that's mostly what I use. I also have some uh, mosaic papers, which is the one with the grid lines. I love to make... Um, layouts using that. Um, and then I'll show you over here. Hershey, you say hi? Say hi, Hershey. Um, and then I also over here have a stash of um, eight and a half by 11. And this is just in magazine holders. That works well for the eight and a half by 11. I like this for um, cards, um, card bases. You can take an eight and a half by 11 piece cut it in half and fold it, and that's great for the card base. So again, I've got way more paper that I'm gonna use in a lifetime. So it's been crazy collecting um, so much of that paper. So shame on me. Uh, my advice to you would be not to collect that much paper. Um, I think we wanna have a rainbow of colors, so we make sure we have you know, a color that matches, but um, yeah, I just don't think we need that much paper. Um, I have it. I'm slowly using it. Um, but like I said, um, don't go overboard when you're buying it. So there's a lot of packs that you can buy that's a variety of colors. And um, I would do that to have a handful of each color. But um, I don't think you need, you know. I say this as advice to you <laughs> to not stock up, stock up on, the, um, on the paper like that. So, um, I also keep my pattern paper by theme. Um, I have those down in those different packs. Uh, again, in those Cropper Hopper packages. And um, again, I've got them labeled. Um, easy to find the different themes when I'm looking at, um, you know, making my scrapbook layouts. So, I hope this helps. This was tips on um, storing your cardstock. Thanks, guys.